Pretty big night at fifth third field. The Tigers Doug Fister pitching for the Mud Hens in only his second start of the season. He hurt himself in the first start of the season for the Tigers back on April 7th. If all goes well, he'll rejoin Detroit on Monday. Jim Leland made the short trip down to see Fister. You know it's a big game. And he found himself in trouble in the first with a runner on second. But he calmed down and struck out the final two batters of the inning. That was good. In total, Fister had five Ks, went four scoreless innings, and threw 68 total pitches. All in all, he felt it was close to a normal outing as he could possibly have. I went out there and pitched how I normally would pitch. Um, you know, just reacting to hitters and, and what a, you know what's working for me tonight or, or not. Um, that's just kind of how you know we, we worked you know with, with Santos. And so, um, you know, I, I got my work in with my fastball, but I also got the, the off speed working too. So Fisher looking very good as for the game. Hands with a runner on in the first. And Ryan Streeby ball by a monster shot, leaving the building literally out of Monroe Street. It's his fourth of the year, 2 nothing heads. Next inning on second and third, we have runners. Justin Henry blooping to the left. Audie Siriaco and Quinton Berry score. And after losing three in a row, Toledo's put together back-to-back -to -back wins. 5-3 to three the final. We got roughed up a little bit by going out there, you know. Give them credit, they had a good pitching staff, but uh, it's nice to come, these guys got a good team too, and so it's nice to come back and get a couple wins against them.